Welcome to the Venus Cuckoldress Podcast, a place to learn all things cuckolding for the curious, the passionate, and the sexually empowered woman who wants it all. Make sure you go to venuscuckoldress.com to subscribe to the podcast and check out the Venus blog. And of course, if you love it, share it. Now, sit back, make yourself comfortable, and enjoy the show with your host, Venus. to the third episode of the Venus Cuckoldress podcast. This episode is going to be super fun. It's all about the art of the tease. And by that, I mean the cuck tease. So it's mainly for the women out there who are learning about cuckolding relationships, or perhaps you're already in one and just need some new ideas. But I'm going to tell you a little bit about what's involved in the cuck tease. Now, just a quick recap about exactly what a cuckolding relationship is. So it's kind of like a one-sided open relationship where she gets to sleep with whoever she wants and he does not. He's totally faithful to her. But the key is, is that both people actually really love it that way. And I think to be a cuck, you need to be kind of hardwired in a way to really love this kind of humiliation or teasing or sexual denial that's often found within a cuckolding relationship. And so I think that's what really stands it apart from uh, like a hot wife and kind of relationship where that part of it just doesn't exist. And for women in this kind of relationship, it is super fun because all of these ways of teasing and humiliating your boyfriend or husband are just like so exciting and you can get really creative and figure out exactly what he likes and then really run with it. And that's why I say these kind of relationships never get boring. There's always something fun that you can do. There's always some way to kind of evolve and explore more and do things that you maybe never thought possible before. But for this kind of relationship to work, I mean, obviously he needs, like I said, to be hardwired by that. But she also needs to really love to humiliate and to tease. And for a lot of women, that does not come naturally. So there's usually a bit of a learning curve with this. Today's episode is going to give you some tips and ideas about how to tease or humiliate your boyfriend or husband. And you can kind of run with it. So if it seems to turn him on, then go for it. If it's something that he doesn't like, well, you can change it up and try something else. The most important part of a cuckolding relationship is involving your boyfriend or husband in some way with your sexual adventures. So it's not where you're just like out fucking a bunch of guys and he never gets to hear about it or doesn't know anything about it. Maybe he knows that you're doing it, but that's about it. And he doesn't like that's the extent of the participation. And that would really suck. That's that's not really fair. So what really works in this kind of relationship is where you involve each other. And as a girlfriend or wife that you can just make sure that he's involved in some way because he really gets off on that participation. It's not that he's participating actually in the room sexually within that experience, because that's not likely, but um, he is usually involved in some other kind of way. So the usual ways of involving your boyfriend or, or husband is obviously teasing about things, but watching uh, in the same room, maybe he's listening on the phone or in the room next door or something like that, or you send him an audio clip or there's storytelling, which is one of my favorites, where you he gets to hear about it either before, during, or after, and that's super hot. So this is all the fun part of cuckolding relationships. This is the part that I really get off on. And if you're wired love the way I am to love these kind of relationships, then as a woman, you will love this part too. It's super exciting. 
So the first thing that you're going to need to do is to sit down with your boyfriend or husband and figure it out exactly what turns him on, what kind of scenarios turn him on. So sit down together and maybe go over the, some of these um, scenarios that I'm about to list off here and go over them with him and ask him, do any of these turn you on and ask him specifics like exactly what is it about this scenario that turns you on? And once you kind of explore that side of his brain, then you'll get some ideas about how to kind of push that forward. And that's where you can get really creative and explore new things together. From what I've heard from Cox is that it's the kind of state of mind that it puts them in this teasing and humiliation that's kind of like this mix of emotions that happens all at once and I call that cuck angst um, there could be a better term for it out there I don't know I, that's just what I call it and from the guys who I've talked to it's been it, they explain it as like a kind of real rush of emotions and it's a mix of emotions like jealousy um, anxiety stress um, being incredibly turned on and excited and, and just like over the top, kind of nervous and thrilling and all of those kind of things all mixed in together. So it's kind of this mix of like good feelings and not so good feelings. And, but at the same time, they're just incredibly turned on about it. So this is the best way that I can explain it. I mean, I'm not a cuck, so I don't really know firsthand, but this is just based on what my cuck friends have told me it's like. So, um, it's, this cuck kind of angst that is really the basis of this kind of relationship. I mean, this is what turns on a cuck. And for me, for the kind of woman that I am, I get turned on when he's turned on. So when we're working through these kind of scenarios together, holy shit, like just seeing the way he reacts or hearing the way he reacts to, to it, Oh, it just, it's like super exciting for me. I love it because I love the fact that it turns him on so much. And so it makes me enjoy it even more. So I, th I think that like as a woman, you really have to be into this. You have to be really like enjoying the way that it turns your boyfriend or husband on. And a lot of women are kind of conditioned to think that these taboo things are kind of weird and strange. And so it's hard for them to kind of wrap their minds around that. But for, I guess for, for women like me who enjoy it like this, it's, it's just seems like kind of something that comes naturally. Now for the fun part, here are, I think some very common ideas about how to induce this kind of cuck angst in your partner. And the first one is pretty obvious. It's tell him that you want to fuck other guys. And a really good example of that would be if you are out for dinner with him and the two of you are just, you know, enjoying yourselves, having a great time, maybe having a glass of wine together. And you look over and you see a really hot guy in the restaurant or in, in the bar, wherever you're at. You look over to him, you look at your husband, you give him a look and you say, oh my God, I would love to be able to fuck that guy and smile and look him straight in the eye when you say it. And this will drive him crazy. So he's going to absolutely love that. Another thing is if you actually turn to your husband after that and say, honey, I really want you to go over there and buy him a drink and tell him it's from us. <laughs> I love that one. I've done that one, that one before. It's super fun. <laughs> so another one that's really fun is assuming that you've already set up a one bowl or possibly a whole bunch of bowls that you're sleeping with and the, you text with them all the time and it's always like really hot, and sexy conversations that you're having with them. One thing I love to do is to screenshot those conversations and then text those screenshots to my boyfriend or husband, whoever, whoever it is that you're going to be sending it to. Oh my God, let me tell you, he is going to love that. Just make sure that it's like the most explicit, nasty, crazy, sexy sexting that you're doing with your bulls. Like I have had some 
really, really intense conversations <laughs> with my bulls before. And like, I'm sure it just drives a cuck absolutely bonkers. Like they just go crazy over it. They love that so much. And I've had a bull who actually really loved when I would share those screenshots with my boyfriend and, and then he, I would screenshot back the responses that I would get from my cuck to my bull. <laughs> and he just like, he really got off on the fact that, you know, this was totally going to produce that kind of reaction from a cuck. And he loved seeing that. Absolutely loved seeing that. The other way to really humiliate and tease your boyfriend or husband is to send him text messages while he's at work. And <laughs> so you can really get carried away with this one. It's super fun to do because he's at work. So it's not like he, you send him something that's going to turn him on. It's not like he can do much about it. And so that kind of frustration kind of adds to it. But send him some text messages and some examples would be like, okay, so, honey, Jake is coming over tonight, so make sure you stop at the liquor store and pick up his favorite alcohol or just send him your send him a, a message saying, "Hey, babe, I need you to stop at the store and pick up a pack of Magnums for Jake cuz he's coming over." <laughs> um, those are really fun ones to do <laughs> and guaranteed to produce quite the reaction. <laughs> So next, uh, next, you can just send them some pictures. Again, this one, you can, you can have a lot of fun with it. Um, but send him a, a photo of what it is that he's missing or what it is that he's sitting at home waiting for. Um, or send him a picture, a photo when he's at work. Like I said, when he's going to get all turned on and can't do much about it. <laughs> um, so while you're fucking a bull, you could take some photos, you could send it to him, you can add a little caption, you can get quite creative with that. My favorite is to send a picture of, you know, the view where the bull's like standing up and he's looking down and I'm kneeling in front of him. There's like this big black dick in my face and I'm looking up lovingly <laughs> and he snaps a photo like that and <laughs> send it to my boyfriend uh, and, and I love the reaction that I get from him about that, but, or you could just send a nice little teasing photo of wet bed sheets, the wet mess that's left on the bed sheets. And just that photo with a little note saying, baby, you got some laundry to do. <laughs> I just love stuff like that. <laughs> That's guaranteed to get a reaction out of him. He's going to love that. You can also send him videos, obviously. So you can send him like straight up sex videos or, oh my God, those ones are so crazy hot. Um, and sharing those is like, oh, so much fun. I have like so many videos. It's crazy. But anyway, um, and they just like love to see it. They absolutely love to see it. But if it's something, you know, that you've specifically taken for your cuck and let's say in the video, you say something like you speak directly to your cuck in the video and say something like, oh my God, babe, look at this huge dick. He is so much bigger than you. Oh my God, look at it. Like, seriously, that would drive him nuts. <laughs> Guaranteed he's going to love that. <laughs> and he's probably going to jerk off over that video like a zillion times. <laughs> Next, uh, you can record some audio clips. And I've only just started doing this. And um, I have a friend who does this as well. She's she's awesome. And, and oh, my God, it is so fun just because I guess he can't see what it is that you're doing. So you're just literally just narrating a story of what's going on and he's got to use his imagination. So, oh my God, it's so much fun. So you can either record something like when you're getting ready to go out and you're picking out an outfit. So you can just say like, hey babe, I'm picking out this like super skimpy black dress. I know Jake loves it. And I'm going to put on those Louboutins that you bought me because I'm just going to look super hot and Jake's going to absolutely fucking love it. Or you can send an audio clip from, let's say, right when you walk into the room where your bull is and you just, just start talking about what it is that you're doing. And oh shit, that's going to be so insanely hot, especially if he can hear your bull talking to you in the background. 
oh, it's just awesome. <laughs> oh, this episode is just like insanely hot for me. Uh, anyway, I'm going to try to focus. All right. The last uh, little tip that I have is about storytelling. And this is just like insanely hot because this is about telling him all about what's going on. So you can either, this is fun, call him at work <laughs> again, because he's, you know, stuck at work. It's not like he can do anything about it. And you can just tell, like, tell him what's going on in that moment and listen to him kind of like squirm around <laughs> because of it. But go into detail about maybe your last encounter with your bull tell him exactly what happened. You can tell him all about the way that he fucked you and how it felt and um, what it was like for you and how many times did you have an orgasm and did you, you know, squirt all over the place or holy shit, like you can just go into all sorts of detail. Oh my God, he will love you forever if you do that. Seriously. Oh, he'll be so turned on and so embarrassed if he's especially if he's at work because there was I'm sure people around and he can't do anything about it and he's probably just got like this raging heart on <laughs> oh anyway but also you can um when you come home after you've seen your bull this is one of my favorites you come home you walk in the door and you're like babe I need your face between my thighs right now <laughs> and then when he's like eating your freshly fucked pussy you can just go into detail about what that was like so you can start telling him all about how this guy fucked you what that felt like you know if you were stretched out or if he was bottoming out on your cervix or whatever like all of that hot shit and while he's down there soothing your completely fucked pussy oh my god that is just so hot also kind of humiliating for him, I'm sure. So he, as a cuck, would absolutely fucking love that. If he was not a cuck, he would not enjoy that. I don't think one bit. <laughs> so that's what I mean. Like guys have to be really wired this way. Like this has to turn the him on. And within this kind of relationship, it really does turn him on. Like on a whole different level, which like I said, I love to see that reaction. I get off on it. Okay, I think I need to have a cold shower or something. <laughs> anyway, those are, that's just like a little recap of my favorite kind of ways to do this cuck tease slash humiliation. And there's also other ways. On my blog, I've written a post called 17 Ways to Cuck Your Man. And it's just short form, 17 quick and easy ways to produce this kind of cuck angst humiliation kind of response with your significant other. And some of them can be really kind of harsh or seem harsh, especially to people who are new to cuckolding or like this is all you're just learning about it. So some of the things that I didn't kind of touch on are chastity. So this is a form of sexual denials where you're literally making it impossible for him to masturbate. And so it's it's like a little device that you you attach to his dick, it locks, and he literally can't get hard inside it. And you control whether or not that comes off. And so that just adds to it a little bit because because it obviously he's going to be pretty sexually frustrated, but some guys really get off on it. I didn't understand it for a long time. I didn't really get what this whole chastity thing was, but um, now I, I have a whole new appreciation for it. And I'll talk more about that on future episodes. Also in my list of ways to cuck your man. I talk about having a, a gangbang on your wedding night. This is truly my fucking favorite thing in the whole wide world that I want. Um, but also there's things like fucking his friends. I'm a big fan of that <laughs> if it's possible. And, um, and then I get, I really went up over the edge, over the top at the end of that list. I said things like fucking his boss, fuck his dad, fuck his brother. <laughs> And I don't, I don't think that that's going to be realistic for, for most couples out there. But for me, I think it's hilarious. And so anyway, 
Um, that's my post, 17 ways to cuck your man. So if you're looking for some other really interesting ways to cuck your man, make sure you check out that post on the Venus blog. So that's venuscuckoldress.com. Okay, it's time to wrap up this crazy hot episode. But um, anyway, there's something on my website uh, called the Venus Vault. So that's at uh, venuscuckoldress.com. And the Venus Vault is a page where um, my Patreon friends can have access to it. And that includes some of these videos and photos that I've been talking about in this episode. Um, But also, those are my personal um, collection. But also there's uh, a voice clip on there. There's also, I think, some screenshots too. Just some really sexy stuff. So if you're one of my Patreon friends, make sure you head on over there to have a look at that. And you can just indulge on all of this fun, sexy stuff that I have been talking about. Okay, that's a wrap for this really fun episode of the Venus Cuckoldress podcast today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you learned something new. And the next episode will be out in a couple of weeks. I hope you join me then. Thanks. Thanks.